Awful girlfriend ignored my calls and went clubbing while I was undergoing emergency surgery. So I dumped her. We've been together since high school, and until recently, I've always considered her to be my future wife. I've even bought a ring and was planning on proposing over the coming months. Well, last weekend it was my girlfriend's best friend's birthday. She and her friends booked a private lounge at a club. I didn't go since I wasn't invited and I hate clubbing or anything associated with that. I was looking forward to spending an evening alone and just binge watching Netflix or something. Just to clarify, I never had an issue with her going out in the first place or have ever pulled pranks for her to come home from a night out. Well, my girlfriend left around 9 p.m and I just crashed on the couch and watched some YouTube. Well, around 11 p.m., I started to feel this distinct stomach pain. The same pain you experience when someone hits you in the nuts. It wasn't bad at first, and I just thought my body was playing some tricks on me, but in about 5 minutes, the pain just kept getting worse until I was stuck in the fetal position on the couch. Again, initially, I just thought the pain would go, but then I pulled down my pants, and it felt like my right testicle was starting to swell. The moment I tried to get up and grab my phone to inspect whatever the F was happening to me, I just collapsed to the floor. That was probably the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Imagine being pelted in the nuts over and over again. I did manage to crawl to the table next to the couch to get my phone. I immediately tried calling my girlfriend, but she declined my call. I then texted her that something was wrong and she could come home immediately. The club she went to is about a 5 minute walk from our apartment. I just put the phone down and started throwing up because of the pain. After throwing up for like a minute, it felt like the pain started to cool down a bit. And I grabbed my phone again and that's when I saw her response. She just replied with a what is it, with an annoyed emoji. I tried calling her again, but as expected, she just declined again. I then texted her that I needed to go to the hospital now. She then asked for what, and I just replied that my balls hurt. I then just dialed for emergency services. I explained my situation to the emergency responder, and she asked if there was somebody who could drive me to the hospital, and I stupidly said yes. I thought my girlfriend would be home soon, and she would drive me to the hospital. I felt embarrassed to call an ambulance because my balls hurt. After I told the emergency responder this, she then told me that she would call me again in 10 minutes to make sure I was being driven to the hospital. I then put down the phone and went back to vomiting on our carpet. Again, after the pain went away for a bit, I checked my phone and saw that my girlfriend had just responded with laughing emojis. I again tried to call her, but as expected, she just declined again. She texted me that this wasn't the time to play games, and she then told me that if I texted or called her again, she would block my number. I again tried calling her, but she declined again, and when I tried calling her a second time, I realized she blocked me. I went back to curling up on the floor, and now I started shivering. At this point, I didn't care about being embarrassed and just called emergency services again and asked for an ambulance. It felt like an eternity, but the ambulance eventually came and rushed me to the hospital. I don't remember much of surgery since I was sedated, but I remember waking up eventually, and my right testicle was being stitched together. The doctor informed me that I had a testicular torsion, and I was extremely lucky to reach the hospital in time. I could have easily been forced to surgically remove my testicle. I checked my phone and saw the missed calls and messages my girlfriend left me. In summary, she came home from clubbing and smelled the vomit in our apartment. When she saw the vomit on our carpet, she got mad and tried searching the apartment to find me. When she realized I wasn't there, only then did it hit her that I was being serious. I just texted her in which hospital I was staying in and my room number then went to sleep. I woke up the next morning and saw my girlfriend sleeping on a couch next to my bed. After she woke up, she started bombarding me with apologies. She thought I was joking, that I was trying to ruin their night. I didn't have the energy to argue, so I just kept quiet. I was beyond hurt by what she did and I wanted to break up with her then and there. Why the F would somebody ignore messages where their partner is begging them to come home? Not only that, she stayed in the club until 3 a.m. and didn't even consider going home to check on me. She did stay with me in the hospital for the remaining two days I was admitted there and did take good care of me, but I was still beyond pissed at her. Ever since coming home yesterday, I've been wanting to dump her, but at the same time, I feel like she genuinely thought I was joking and made a mistake. I feel conflicted and don't know how to proceed in this situation.